Okay, let's continue. And do some GFing. Which is probably not a word either, but creating our own words today. Nice. Come on, Ifrit, learn the good stuff, dude. Why would you want to learn summon magic up when we're not using you? Not too bothered about status medicine, if I'm honest, and it'll it'll get learnt anyway, so we'll go for magic. Come on, brothers, do your job. Still ain't got you. Terrible. Yeah, that should be fine. I'm assuming the, the curse cure is up, because I don't think it's like a standard status effect. It's kind of a special one. It's interesting, too, because... It's one of those ones you don't see that often. You'd think they'd explain it. It's also a strange one where if you're not using your limit break, how would you ever know that that's what it takes away from you? Unless there's the press back thing. Pretty snazzy looking missiles. <laughs> Nosy missiles. Freeze frame. Fade to black. Well, you think they'd climb. You think they'd slide. Do the whole fireman slide. Which is much easier to do if you're wearing gloves. That is one hell of an intimidating machine. This is the moment in time where you could have really done with Zell. Zell knows what he's doing with machines. Just bang it a bit. Should be fine. You don't know what you're doing, do you? <laughs> of course I do. I'm a fucking engineer. Look at me. This is my engineering smile. Trapped in this machine for decades. You have released me. They call me Sean Connery. Oh no, not Sean Connery. That was dead weird then. I could see a mini Sid. What the hell was he doing? And Sid was never seen again. Crushed by a sudden, strange mechanical device. It's like Power Rangers. <laughs> it's turning into something bigger. Da, 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 da. Missiles incoming. Overly fancy for missiles. <laughs> the hell? You snooze, you lose, bitches! Surfing the wave! I have no idea how this works. 
gyroscopes, gravitational pulls, polar opposites, I have no idea. We're moving. <coughs> Excuse me. They play cards now, dude. No, still too important, huh? Too important to play me cards. Play me cards, bitch. I'm concerned about the others. Can you go check? I'll go later. Cards, bitch. Ah, card me. No. Okay, I'll check, asshole. But I'm coming back for your card. Your ass is grass. And I'm gonna make a nice picnic on you. Like as you can. Confident as always, you. Bollocks. So apparently, cards is disabled at this moment in time, but it'll be coming back once we've discovered that we're moving. Which I didn't really think is that much of a big deal, personally. Buildings move all the time. So we're definitely moving just incredibly slow. <laughs> That sounded a little bit like the high wind theme then for a second. Yep, we're definitely moving. Confirmed. That was weird, it stopped me before I could run. Like no running on the deck. Now you can run. Da -da 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 it's the headmaster. Get back to the bridge on the double. We're about to smash into something. Oh my god. That was kind of it. Squall, the controls aren't responding, man. I don't know what to do. We're gonna crash into the town of Balaam if we don't do something. It's okay, I'm a technician. I drive things all the time. Why does it have to be me, goddammit? Can I think of anything? Yes. It's called saving my own ass. See you later. Bye. Just bang it. Bang it about a bit. There you go. Like every music lesson for me in secondary school. Just pissing about on the keyboard. No idea what I'm doing. Da -da 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 -da. Everybody, please stay calm. We are not here to kill each and every one of you. We just don't know how to steer. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ba -ba 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 -ba. It looks a lot like a shell, the garden. Or like a elaborately detailed turd. I think the worst is behind us for now. And do you know how I know that squall? Because the music's gone back to normal. So it looks like we can finally relax for a while. So, what do you say, girls? Far away? Uh-huh. Huh? Can I play your cards now, please? So much for my room.
Or am I gonna change now? It's not that funny, Quistus, you kiss ass. I was watching a Final Fantasy Dissidia video the other day, and Laguna was in it and he was talking, and it was not the fucking voice Laguna should ever have. I had to turn it off. Like, I've never played Dissidia, I really want to play it, and I kind of wanted to watch a, a Let's Play, but the more those cutscenes had people in them from my childhood talking with voices that I didn't like, it was really hard to watch. Bum, bum, no, no. There's a lot of things I want to ask about, too. He's probably still busy trying to re-establish order in the garden. Yeah, who was that garden master? I got a feeling we're going to be finding out pretty damn soon. How can you be bored, son? You've got a deck. You've got an awesome deck. We're going to smash some noobs. And I never say noobs because I hate that word, but that's exactly what we're going to do. Oh, you lazy bastard. Stop, stop sleeping. We've got demolishing to do. Deck destruction. Oh, here she comes. What's going on, babe? She didn't even knock or anything. She just came in our room. If that had been me, I do not have the best boxer shorts. I would have had balls and dicks flopping everywhere. Especially how much I move around when I'm asleep. She'd have got a real eyeful. We'd have found out whether or not she liked me then and there. Give me a tour of the garden. Is this another one of your orders? No, I just kind of want to be with you, huh? It's okay, girl. I'm going to show you how cards are won. I'm going to show you some extreme card gaming. That sounds exciting, doesn't it? No? Of course it does. Ooh, there's a magazine on my table. And the analog is gone again. Because I unplugged the fucking thing. What is this? I've got to commit to it? What is it? So dumb. Stupid fucking pad. Retarded pad. Right. Ooh. Flame saber. That one looks shit. Sheer trigger. It's terrible. So we need to save. And now we're going to play some cards. Bum. This place is huge, man. I think it's bigger than Galbadia Garden. No, no it's not. Galbadia is so much more complicated, so much bigger, it's ridiculous. It's also got GFs on the run. Makes no sense. Not a very good tour guide. <laughs> what the hell do you want from me, babe? I'm a fighter. <laughs> In Rocky. <laughs> I don't really want, man. I used to be a fighter. Why is Dr. Katawaki there? I'm not talking to you, lady. I'll have a needle in the arm and a finger up my ass before I can even see Sesame Street. This might, alone might be here. I think alone is here. That's not good. Where's the student who I bummed? I want to get him again. It's just going to be alone sat in that chair. And I can't play cards with you until we get to space and then there's every rule. Every goddamn rule. Who are you, man? Try to remember. It'd be heartbreaking to know I was forgotten. Do I know you? So there's another few glimpses into some plot moments coming up. You'll have to excuse my Freudian slips. I forget that people haven't played. Hopefully they didn't quite catch what I said. And are not repeating the early part of the video so they can intentionally catch what I said. Oh, 
can we play cards we now? We could probably go for, can we play you, you, we can play you, you suck. No, we're not playing Galbadia rules. We're not doing it, bro. Nope, nope. We're not doing it. We're not doing it. Nope. I said no. Why are you being so insistent? So that's what I did there, guys. If you agree, you'll combine rules, and there's a chance you're going to spread rules you don't want. So if you refuse them, they'll eventually ask you to play. That's exactly what I just did. Oh, this guy's got shit cards. Oh, never mind. But they can still be refined, so it's all potentially a victory. We just need to get him 8-2 or 7-3 or something. That will definitely do. Trapping on. Trapping. Nice. Keep dropping them cards for us. It's a nice healthy addition. So on my other file, I've got 40 of those cards. From carding the fish when I was farming them. So that's a, an estimation of how much I farmed them on the other game. And I farmed them before I did Dollar. So I don't even know how I managed to do it. I think I sacrificed a little bit of experience to get card early. Can't quite remember my tactic, but it worked well. Blastoid, Buell, Grat. It's not a bad hand. That's just a shit card, and he, he knows it's a shit card. That's why I put it there. But he trapped himself, and that's exactly what we wanted. And once again, playing shit cards for the sake of playing shit cards. It's just mean. So, we take less, but there was less worth taking this time. I don't want the Cactuar, because he's just going to give me Cactus Thorns or Cactus Needles, and I'm just not interested. Like, this is not the guy I want to be playing. His card's a turd. The super turd. In fact, I'm trying to think how much cards we've played in the garden at this point. Because when you do about 10 to 15 games, which I think we have done, and that's when you get challenged by the CC group. And the CC group are the people that are going to give us boss cards and good cards. Uh, reliably good cards. And unlike this shit, this Grendel fucking mesmerized blade thing and other trash. Fastica colon or whatever it's called. I can just call it Tickly colon because it's got a stupid name. Look at these cards. Just terrible. Really, really bad. Lick the face. Lick my beard. Lick it with your face. Can I do you here? Oh, bollocks, he's gone down where Garden Master is. Uh, who else can I... Cafeteria. Let's go Cafeteria. Oh, let's see if we can challenge Spade. Or whatever his name. Oh, no, not you, Tossbag. Yes? The Garden Master wishes to see you. Report to the Master's room right away. Oh, he's there, he's there. Shut up, guy. So this guy wants us to go on the elevator and go to the basement floor. Fuck off. This guy over here on the left is the dude we want to talk to. One of them. One of these guys, anyway. It's not him, is it? It hadn't been enough card games. Bollocks. About you. No? Can't play these guys because they're CC members as well. Stop talking to me, woman. I don't care. Fuck off. God, I don't want to care. I don't care. So we're going to play cards with that idiot for a little bit longer till that guy decides to challenge us. God, if only the library was filled with the proper people, we could be getting T-Rexes and... Oh, he's pissed off now. Brilliant. You scared him off, you old bat. Oh, can I play you? No. Smug bitch. My card's not good enough for you, ho. Ooh, library looks like it's... No, it's not. Can I, can I play you? 
Yes, that's what we want. We want someone shit at cards. I hope you're so shit you don't realise you've got good cards. Well, she's got better cards than the other guy, because she's got that Abyss Worm. And Abyss Worms are useful. Super useful. Oh, you're just giving it to me here, lady. You're just giving it me. Oh, could have asked for a better placement. Thank you so much. That's every card. Thank you. You really were bad. But I'll let you off. I do have a very stacked deck. So she didn't really stand much of a chance, but... I'm here to crush, crush the weak. She does need more self-esteem. Get a little bit of confidence in there. Ooh, Gyla. We need some Gylas. Get those meltdowns. We still don't have the, the junction ability to, to junction meltdowns yet, though. To, to refine into them, sorry. Uh, I'm not too sure what that one is, but we'll get it. Get that vitality up. Yeah, this guy's getting trounced again. I don't mind, though, because it gets me a nice stock of things to bump off. Oh, yeah. Is that a quicker way of doing this? Like, start. I wonder if start's quicker. If you're wondering too, the NPCs of the game have infinite cards. They have like all of them as well, I believe. It's just they're only seem to be allowed to play certain levels of certain cards, and the players themselves dictate those levels. Like this girl is obviously pretty shit, so she's got shit cards. But the ones who can play the level sevens and things and the level eight cards will play them every single other time, effectively. Even when you take them off them, they will still play high level cards. Kind of what they do. Interesting. It's not good enough though. It's better than her previous play, but it's still not a strong play. Kind of like that one. Still 8 2. Still take all your cards. And another Abyss Worm. I can't remember what he gives you. I think he gives you windmills, which turn into tornadoes. And tornadoes is quite useful early on because it's a nice boost to your stats. It's not as useful as I thought it was, though. I thought it was one of the top tier ones, and it ain't. It's like middle tier. But we'll just keep smashing her for a couple turns, and then we'll go back to Spade and hopefully get some good cards off him. But a couple of people mentioned in the comments that the cards looked kind of complicated, and that they never really understood it, so hopefully through watching my videos they might learn something and go back and then be able to play and things. Uh, so I will try to explain the rules when new ones turn up. As it stands at this moment, it's just highest number wins. And whoever has the most on their colours flipped, you know, wins the, the final thing. So at this moment in time, it's 7-3. to three. He drops that. I need to beat the 3 here on the top number, which I have an 8. And on the left, I have a 6. He only has a 4, so he can't flip me. So that's another 8-2. I forget that it's simple for me and not so simple for somebody watching. But it's once you pick it up and you get the, the main gist of it, it is pretty simple. It just has some very complicated rules later on. And they really mix it up. Like the plus rule is, plus rule turns every card game into a fucking seesaw. Because they can put the last card, which is a shit card, and they'll plus you. And they'll flip half the board and they go from 8-2 to, to like 7-3 winning. It's, it's just madness. And it can be really cool when you do that move and you reverse them, but it happens way too often the other way around because the AI is, is merciless with plus rule. They're so good at it. Like, I would compare it to Worms if you ever played that against a computer. Because Worms, essentially, the computer would bend grenades, they would bend rocket shots, and they would find you wherever you were because they had perfect aim. So they were literally aimbots. And that is kind of what the computer is on this on cards when you let them with the plus rule. They will find a plus and they will land it. Like, doesn't matter what cards you use, they just land them. They just seem to do it all the time. So 
So I'll beat her one more time and then we'll go back to him. Because I'm sure it's it's like 15 card games and I don't think it's in one session. And we played for Minimog, we got those Marlboros off the guy in the library, we played for Quistis, we played quite a lot of games. That Triface is good. He gets your curse spikes. He wants to use his Grat, you can tell. But instead, he pins his card so that we hit it with the 5 and we defend ourselves with the Ace and the 8. A, a better play then, but his numbers just aren't high enough. And it's not really his fault, he's got a shit deck. Or she's got a shit deck. If her deck were better, she'd stand a better chance, but she just doesn't. And taking on a strong deck with a weak deck is really difficult when the rules are just vanilla. And right now we have the most basic rules. Except for the trade rule, which is different. Which is you take the amount of cards that you win by, which is a very powerful rule if you're good. Or if you're up against a weak lens. I think the guy who sits there is random, in fact. I think he kind of turns up and then pisses off. What the hell's that? I don't see that person often. Is it? Looks like Quistis. Oh, wow. Well, I can play her. I've never played her before. I hope she's a monster. I hope she's got GF cards. Just destroys me. Ooh, she's got King Tombry. That's pretty rare. But everything else is shit. Which is a shame, because I was hoping for her to, to have really mean, nasty cards. Better look next year. And she's going to get 8 2 to it, looks of this. Uh, maybe she won't. Or maybe she will. <laughs> Like that right there, that was the same. You see it? Six on my side, four on the other side. She would have then flipped the middle one, the, the anaconda guy, and that would have been it. So just because to show, she could have probably pulled that back if the rules were different. But I've probably just confused a lot of people because you've not seen the same rules so much yet. But you will in time.